began speaking with a thousand people from around America about what sustainability means. He has explored this idea with more than 800 people so far in 105 cities across 48 states and Canada. The Echo Road Trip, now on mile marker 25,320, is helping to expand the understanding that each of our lives can help sustain not only the ecosystem, but our equally valuable social system. As a Fulbright Scholar back in 1993, Shane founded several organizations in Europe to create awareness on environmental and social issues. He taught social change, technology, and management strategies at the College of Charleston and the City University of Seattle. For 15 years, he has led professional training trainings with organizations including J.D. Powers and Associates, Volvo, University of Miami, Best Buy, CompU USA, College of Charleston, Intel, and dozens more. In Lithuania, Shane completed research on cultural change related to environmental management and received a master's degree in organizational development from Yatatis Magnus University. He is certified ISO 14001 environmental auditor. Shane founded One Greener in 2002 to blend a, the training and sustainability for various industries. Shane enjoys yoga, meditation, <coughs> hiking, and independent film in his free time. He writes on sustainability, art, and spirituality. Shane is green through and through, and his model is, <coughs> motto is consume less and live more. <laughs> Shane, how did you do it? Recycled paper packaged with plant based dyes on the label, manufactured on energy efficient equipment, in LEED certified efficient ISO 14001 factories. Shipped on goats, not flown from the growers or the packagers, carted on trains, not semi trucks in the US, except perhaps the last few miles, and brought in a locally owned shop with a small staff where employees have health benefits and retirement. <laughs> to get to the store, we walked with our shopping bags, bringing our children, grandchildren, and neighbors along to be outside, building the bonds of community through shared experience. That is a sustainable box of chocolates. <laughs> you have my nomination for president. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up uh, with cerebral palsy, and I recently thought about what that meant. I mean, how I said those words. CP, as it's called, is like an old friend who's been with me all my life, on the playground, in the bath, on vacation, and with me in my darkest and lightest moments. But this old friend has been more than a disability. It's been a lens to the world. My body taught me a way to see this place, this body that had to learn how to relax, how to accept criticism and constant change from birth. Each morning as I woke up when I was a preteen or tween, as we call it now, pain was my old friend as my right foot's arch collapsed. I didn't know that I was supposed to tell anyone. 
always assumed my leg was tense and my sometimes tight and cramped. Running was odd, unbalanced, it ached, and people stared. Now, I might be describing some of our more mature audiences as normal mornings now. <laughs> but for a child or a teenager, I was not like my peers. That set me apart. I began to see how people behaved with each other. I watched carefully when people laughed, how they walked, and spoke certain words. <laughs> I was isolated with a few good friends. I was a young Jane Goodall watching the apes on the playground, seeing the trees as they changed and counting the Japanese beetles in our family garden. I had a chance to develop this set of glasses that sees people and things with more details. Today's talk and demonstration is based on this lens and on the seventh principle of UU. Respect for the interdependent web of all existence of which we are a part. Bolivia recently, in fact last week, is likely to pass a new law giving Mother Nature 11 new rights, including the right to life and to exist the right to continue vital cycles and processes free from human alteration, the right to pure water and clean air, the right to balance, the right to not be polluted, and the right to not have cellular structure modified or genetically altered. Oftentimes we think of sustainability as green things, because nature is green. I adamantly disagree. I think it is a relationship conversation. In the future, we must become experts at relationships. Except maybe the personal ones. <laughs> Careful examination of the interrelations of whatever we touch is the key to sustainability. It is a new normal for our children and all future generations. Three things are balanced for sustainability. One, the thoughtful examination of the ethical or community parts of our lives. Two, the careful understanding of our economic impacts. And three, the ecological connections all around us. These three are the core of sustainability. Most all other conversations about food or home or work or play or life or what to do for my next job or, or who do I care about or what's on television or any of those things, believe it or not, can be balanced from these three ideals. Don't get me wrong, we all love casinos every once in a while. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there is a discussion going on in the world of ecological, ethical, and economic balance about quality versus quantity. That is where I want us to focus. But I need some assistance from you. Now, I have an activity, and I want some help up here, if I can get it. Could I have five volunteers? One, two, great. I got two, can I get three more? To do three? There's a third, there's a fourth, excellent. And number five, excellent. Now, here we go. <laughs> While standing, please organize yourself in the shape of a plus sign. <laughs> Excellent. 
Now move the plus sign up onto the steps. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. You stay in two pluses, the line stays here. Very good. Spread yourselves out slightly. Make sure you're evenly spread out. Very nice. These guys do follow directions. Excellent. <laughs> All right, so we have now before you what I call lines. There is a horizontal line and a vertical line heading straight down the aisle, okay? The two lines are intersecting, and these lines that intersect re represent two different ideals that relate to each other. Quality versus quantity, and sustainability versus unsustainability. Sustainable versus unsustainable. All right, the three people that are going across, I'm gonna grab the other mic, because this is why I like to start moving around. <laughs> the dancing will come soon. <laughs> All right, uh, so the three people that are going this way across, you guys represent unsustainable over here to sustainable on the far side. <laughs> and this is a continuum. So people exist on that continuum going from unsustainable to sustainable. All right, so that's the first piece of it. And then going up and down like this on this other line going this direction, we have something that represents quality versus quantity at the top is quality, is quantity, <laughs> all right? And the reason why we want to make sure we get this idea in place is that you have these lines intersecting. <coughs> we actually represent, if I'm standing in this quadrant, something in particular, right? Because you represent unsustainable quality. All right, so that's the first piece. And I'm gonna need four more volunteers if I could get them. Pretty soon we'll have the whole room up here. <laughs> People are excited now. <laughs> all right, so you four all have numbers. You don't have to stand on my head. Actually, the four of you guys all have numbers. And uh, you've all been to cheerleading camp. <laughs> So you're going to form a human pyramid. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> totally joking. All right, so if you're one, go to that first quadrant that I stood in. Okay. Two is here, in this quadrant, down here. So if you're two. Three is over here. And four is at the top and the, and the top. All right. <laughs> so what we've represented here is something that I love to start to describe now. Because when I start to describe this, as I have in many other situations, never done it in a human scale before. Usually I have PowerPoints. Ooh. This is my first oh, human oh, PowerPoint. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Human, I'm, for, I'm all for human PowerPoints. I think this is so much better. Uh, as we go through this next piece, okay. So, in the first zone, in the upper left-hand corner, we have quality and unsustainability. That's number one. <laughs> yes. You are unsustainable quality. This person represents someone who sees anything they want, Usually of very high quality and buys it. <laughs> no questions asked, no, no. except is it high quality? They may have three private jets, five homes, and millions yeah. of the bank. I'm in the wrong place. Sure <laughs> All right, great. So, I didn't necessarily, you know, get a profile of any of you guys. <laughs> um, have to run it. it's, it's part of the whole acting process. Uh, for the, so for this next part, what brands represent that person? What sort of products represent that person? Mercedes. 